Parents often ask me about video games and computers and television and what's right and what's wrong for children. Well, let's just take whiteboards in the classroom first. An interactive whiteboard can be a potent source of glare and for many children in the classroom, the brightness of the screen can be a problem. Children with binocular vision issues are often more sensitive to glare than other children and will find that copying off the board can lead to strain. There are problems too when teachers are asking children to copy down off the board. In the days of blackboards, a teacher could wipe off some of the material, leaving the rest up for a child to copy. But with a whiteboard, one click of the enter button and it's all gone. So teachers need to be aware of a child with copying problems or glare problems who might take longer working off an interactive whiteboard. And as parents, you need to make sure that all subject teachers have that. I find it helpful for a child to take in a pre-printed slip with some highlighted information on this that they can then distribute to all teachers rather than just telling their tutor who may not disseminate the information across all classes. This is particularly relevant in secondary school. Make sure that your child is sitting appropriately when using an interactive whiteboard so they're not getting glare, they're not getting reflections from daylight coming in off win through bright windows and reflecting off the board and perhaps they need to ask for print-offs of information rather than copying so that they can concentrate on listening and taking in information off the board. What about video games? As a parent, video games are a bane, but they're also very useful with babysitting when you want your child to sit quietly and get on with something whilst you're busy in the kitchen. But there are issues with the amount of time children spend on video games. They're sitting there confined, uh, stationary, with relatively little movement and that's not what children are built for. At the end of the day, children should be outside, climbing trees, getting muddy and physically active because that's what develops their motor skills that they need for learning. So whilst video games are a fact of society, they should be rationed and really about 20 to 30 minutes at a time is about maximum. Perhaps a little bit longer at the weekend, but children who are spending two, three and four hours engaged in interactive internet games are losing out. There are some newer games, particularly using activities, and I probably shouldn't advertise, but the, Win the Nintendo Wii is quite useful here, where there is physical movement involved, particularly when using the interactive balance board on the Wii Fit, which can be relatively good. Again, watch background lighting with video games, and do not let your children use their video games in dark rooms without some background lighting. The same goes for television. When watching TV, there should be other lights on in the room. And again, television is passive. The child is absorbing information without any physical demands being placed on them. So 30 to 40 minutes television viewing as a maximum should be the general rule. There are exceptions to this with some of the splendid TV um, documentary series or drama series. Occasionally that should be extended or if it's a particular film to watch. But just passively, Flopping down in front of a TV for a couple of hours after school is not a good idea for your child.